This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at examples involving the gas laws. In our first example, we have a sample of gas with a volume of 15 cubic centimeters at a pressure of 575 kilopascals. Assuming that temperature remains constant, what volume will the gas occupy at a pressure of 968 kilopascals? To solve this problem, we'll use the equation P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times V2, which is Boyle's law. In the question, we are given P1, V1 and P2, so we need to solve for V2. So here we have the equation rearranged to solve for V2. Next, we substitute the values into the equation. P1 is 575 kilopascals and V1 is 15.0 cubic centimeters. P2 is 968 kilopascals, and this gives us a value for V2 of 8.91 cubic centimeters. In our next example, we have a sample of gas with a volume of 32.0 cubic decimeters at a temperature of 256 Kelvin. Assuming that pressure remains constant, what volume will the gas occupy at a temperature of 391 Kelvin? To solve this, we'll use this equation, which is Charles's law. In the question, we're given V1, T1, and T2. So we need to rearrange this equation to solve for V2. And V2 is equal to V1 times T2 divided by T1. So next, we substitute the values into the equation. V1 is 32.0 cubic decimeters, and T2 is 391 Kelvin. T1 is 256 Kelvin. And this gives us a value for V2 of 48.9 cubic decimeters. In our next example, we have a sample of gas with a pressure of 73.9 kilopascals at a temperature of 347 Kelvin. Assuming that volume remains constant, what will be the pressure of the gas at a temperature of 602 Kelvin? So here we have the equation for Gay-Lussac's law. In the question, we're given P1, T1, and T2. So we need to solve for P2. And here we have the equation rearranged to solve for P2. Next, we substitute the values into the equation. P1 is 73.9 kilopascals. T2 is 602 Kelvin. And T1 is 347 Kelvin. And this gives us a value for P2 of 128 kilopascals. In the next example, a sample contains 5.13 moles of gas with a volume of 1.28 cubic meters. Assuming that temperature and pressure remain constant, what volume will the gas occupy if 3.49 moles of gas are added? So here we have the equation for Avogadro's law. In the question, we're given V1 and N1. To find N2, we need to add the two amount in moles of gas which is 5.13 plus 3.49. To find V2, we need to rearrange the equation. So V2 equals V1 times N2 divided by N1. V1 is 1.28 cubic meters. N2 is 8.62 moles. And N1 is 5.13 moles. And this gives us a value for V2 of 2.15 cubic meters. In our last example, a sample of gas has a volume of 1.54 cubic meters at a temperature of 447 Kelvin and a pressure of 12.0 kilopascals. If the temperature and pressure are changed to 561 Kelvin and 15.7 kilopascals respectively, what volume will the gas occupy? To solve this, we'll use the combined gas law. In the question, we're given P1, V1, T1, P2, and T2. So we need to rearrange the equation to solve for V2. And V2 equals V1 times P1 times T2 divided by T1 times P2. V1 is 1.54 cubic meters. P1 is 12.0 kilopascals. T2 is 561 Kelvin. T1 is 447 Kelvin and P2 is 15.7 kilopascals. So this gives us a value for V2 of 1.48 cubic meters.